let me talk about Jennifer for a minute. My, my, my fun little Jennifer, look, we're going to get to her, you know, it's not yeah. about everyone. Um, I love that. She tries to just prove points and sometimes it just doesn't land when I she's know. like, you know, endorse. First of all, don't worry about your endorsements, Jennifer. I understand what she's trying to say, you know, that she mean, don't need them. She don't when the them. show goes away, you know, pause. Jennifer's not sweating the pause. She has bill. Her life will be, I, I agree with that. I mean, then yeah. she goes to and Andy's like, honey, I love all my I, endorsements. Me too. And I let's, do a lot Let's of be clear here. When I post on Instagram, you know, That's Nebula funny. 9 vodka people, Nebula 9, look it up. Vodka That's in a hysterical. Can, shots. I, David Yontef behind the velvet rope loves his endorsements too. So Andy's like, slow down, girl. I might have 10 yes. times more money than you'll ever have, but I still like my endorsements. Right. 1,000%. 1,000%. Yep. Um... You know, but okay, you know, here's the thing we'll talk about. Like, you know, when they showed the little clips, now I, I know Margaret's son's name, I, I know where Margaret's son lives. I would never reveal that because that's just the guy doesn't want to be on the show. I didn't like when this, when they showed those coming attractions. Look, Margaret does dig, she's up to no good. That one, she sits up at night with the Finsta, and Joe Benigno's like, get off the Finsta. We all know that's, but. I mean, I don't think she comes and makes something like this up. And so no. it's directed towards Louis. It probably happened. Well, Andy Cohen said, you know, we're going to bring it up when he comes out. So but listen, calling his job and all this stuff. I mean, Listen, you call my son. Well, my solicitor, my son is, is you think I'm ruthless? <laughs> the apple did not fall far from the tree and the apple grew bigger. Okay, my son's got, when you talk about Danielle said the, uh, the balls drag out the door, you know my son. My son would laugh in his face. With that said, I don't want people, you know, I wouldn't want anyone calling my son and saying anything. And I would be beyond uh, angry. And I would on the stage say, Andy, now this is over and above what this show should be about. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see how they defend this and we'll see what proof because Melissa opens up some paper saying, you know, I have the proof that would be pretty down and dirty. Again, I want to see the proof first. I want to see what comes out before, but I wouldn't tolerate it. But, you know, I have the type of son that he ain't going to tolerate it. He can handle himself. If anything, he can protect me, you know. And then when, you know. I mean, Joe Gorga is convinced that he was being looked into and Louis like lies and prove it. I mean, here's the thing Louis doesn't realize. Like you can't like these listeners will remember every word, not, not even the big stuff like this, the little minutia. So Louis, I mean, look, you lied about Bo Deedle. And this should be a learning experience that you yes. just gotta tell the truth because people will find it. Yeah, yeah. It was it was a bad look, and it's not necessary. It was a but. You know what? Um, he was really angry, screamed and yelled. That's no excuse to drop someone's name. Can't do it. You can't. And you he even Bo Deedle in the, in the interview was like, "Look, I understand when you want to threaten someone, you drop my name." But yeah, he's like, "I'm not playing this game." I'm just not Listen, playing this game. One thing you want to do, and you have to learn, when you play with the big boys, you never, it wouldn't even come to your mind to use a name, okay? For instance, when I tell you what for my friends, when my friends say, um, they tell me their opinion, and I, I say it, I would never mention these people's name, ever. It wouldn't even come to mind to mention these guys' names and say who they are or what. Never. It's the way it was inbreded in me since I was a little child. So that's a big problem. No one's going to trust him anymore because they are they're afraid. Again, he's a wild card. So I hope this is a lesson learned. I hope. But it seems like with the Margaret thing, he was digging and they called the the the, the place of business. Yeah. I mean, but I wonder what, oh, I think they probably called the son to get the inside scoop about what the kids are thinking and the chief. Maybe. Really? I don't or know. just to, yeah. threaten. I mean, it sounded like he was. She said to work. threaten, threaten. Like, are you kidding me? Wow. 
Yeah, that's a little just, crazy. Yeah, let's let's just see. The next couple of weeks are going to be really crazy. I mean, let me tell you something. All my friends were like, we got the popcorn ready. I go, listen to me. I eat cashews. I said, because, you know, I got my cashews. I really have my cashews earlier because I don't eat um, past 637. But my black tea lemonade, I was so excited. It's really something. This is, I can't, I, I would love to see what the ratings are. This was really something. I want to go back to the wedding for a minute. Yeah. When I was saying how I, I wasn't thrilled about the dancers and all that kind of stuff in the burlesque, I was really concerned about Jen's daughter. She was, a, it was a little much for a little girl to see the girls with the boobs hanging out. You I don't just like just randomly are thinking of this like yeah. overnight. Well, people have been saying that. And I, re you know, and I watched it again, the ending of well, it. Well, I mean. I don't like it. I don't like it children, for kids. Really? I don't, I don't mind like it. it at all for a wedding. I really don't. I don't oh, mind it. Not me. I mean, me. kids go to a wedding. I mean, I don't think Jennifer's daughter was the only one there. And, yeah, but she uh, was hiding her eyes. She was embarrassed by it. Well, I think some of I think some of the older people were embarrassed. I mean, by this it too. is that's this just is my life. opinion. This is what goes on, you know. This is well, life, man. Um, who do you think really did better between Melissa and Teresa? Oh, Melissa. You think so? Oh God! You think so. Teresa oh, looked yeah. unhinged? Yes, the, Teresa lied left and right. She was lying, and she was caught. You know, and yeah. I mean, I'm not knocking Teresa and I'm not promoting Melissa. I'm just saying my opinion is Ter Melissa could have taken it a lot further. Again, we're going to say it's because she's worried about her job. But Teresa lied and got caught. When, when Angie said to her, well, what do you mean? Like, you're never going to see her face again. Like, if she's not on the show, you're not going to have anything to do with her. Teresa's like, if she is on the show, I'm not going to have anything to do Correct. with her. Correct. Like, Correct. I mean... This is, but here's where I go. I understand what she's saying. I do. And I believe it. And she really is done. But at some point, is it going to just be like, yeah, here's your money. Like your money is not coming to you. Like we're not continuing the show until you work this out. Like she's going to want her $2 million. She has that much power. She spends so much money, Teresa. As she should. She, as she should. They're in Puerto Rico right now. I never seen, listen, I know billionaires who don't fly all over. I mean, they're everywhere. They are, they're constantly on vacation. I'm going to tell you something. You know, I know, you know, we know a lot of billionaires. They don't, I, I'm just speechless. When I see like- I a told you what I thought. And yeah, I mean, look, I'm not accusing yeah, no, I know. anybody I, of I, I would be careful of that. I know, I, I agree with you, but I'd be careful I'm of that just, 